Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired cook from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to another one of my bread videos. Okay, this recipe is for those who are finding my original baguette video a bit too time consuming to take on. Now this baguette method shaves over an hour and a half off the other recipe by using what's known as the polish or sponge method. All this means is you have to spend 5 minutes making up the peliche a few hours before you begin the actual baguette recipe, usually the night before. And here's a list of the simple ingredients you'll need to make up the peliche. It's also known as a sponge or a starter. Right, I'll start the peliche by adding a half a teaspoon of dried yeast to the strong white bread flour and whisk that in. The next and last ingredient is the cold water and I'll give that a thorough whisk. Now the measurements for this and any of my recipes really are carefully worked out so please use digital scales and get to know grams. It is so much more accurate than ounce and cup measurements. Right once that's done cover the bowl and get it onto the top shelf of your fridge. Now the reason for the top shelf is it's the warmest part of the fridge so it retards or slows the fermentation down to a steady rate and it's that slow fermentation that gives this bread its fantastic flavour, very much like my ciabatta recipe. Ok it's 8 hours later and it's the next morning for me and it's time to start making these baguettes. And here's a list of the rest of the ingredients, including the peliche that I made up yesterday. Now after 8 hours mine looks like this. But if yours has been in longer and it looks like this one, don't worry it's fine. This test one that I did was in my fridge for 24 hours. You can see it has risen and then sunk again, but as long as there's bubbles it's ok. Right, add the water to the peliche and give it a good whisk up. Now set that aside for a moment while I mix the flour and the salt in a separate bowl. Now add the polish mixture and give it a good mix until it all comes together into a sticky dough. As always I'll be using the handle of my wooden spoon to do mine. Don't be tempted to use your whisk at this point, the dough is way too thick for that tool. You can use a stand mixer but only until the dough comes together. But mixing it by hand only takes a couple of minutes. Right, don't forget to scrape down any dried flour from the sides of the bowl. Then cover and set the timer for the first of only two 45 minute rises. And that is where you save the time from my original baguette video. By making the peliche you only need two 45 minute rises instead of four. Now these times may slightly vary depending on the temperature of your kitchen. The ambient temperature in my kitchen is 23 Celsius, that's 74 Fahrenheit, which is ideal for proofing this dough. And after the first 45 minutes you can see how much the dough has risen. Slightly wet the bench before turning it out. This will stop the dough from sticking to the worktop. And with wet hands give the dough a few turns. This is called knocking the dough back or degassing. It also distributes the temperature evenly throughout the dough. Notice how much smoother the dough looks. Now get it back into the bowl, cover and set your timer for the second and last 45 minute rise. Now 
OK, while waiting for the door to rise, I'll get a couple of things ready. Starting with the baker's couche. All this is, is a well-floured piece of material to proof the baguettes on. I use a 100% cotton pillowcase for mine. It's a lot cheaper than the proper baker's couche material and it does exactly the same job. You'll also need a slightly oiled strip of cling film or plastic wrap. This is to cover the pre-shaped baguettes a little later. Set that aside for now. Now flour the worktop, preferably next to the couche cloth, and have your digital skills ready to divide the dough accurately. OK, once the time's up, carefully turn out the dough onto the floured surface. Once the dough is on the bench, dust it with flour and start dividing it into however many baguettes you're making. Out of this recipe, you'll either get 4 large, 6 medium or 8 small. Now, providing your measurements were correct at the start, your dough should weigh 1220 grams or 43 ounces. I'm making six medium baguettes out of mine, so each piece of dough works out at 203 grams or just over 7 ounces each. Now, the next step is to pre shape the baguettes and let them rest a while. This will relax the dough and make forming the final baguette shape much easier. Rather than me try to explain, it'll be easier if you just watch and copy how I'm doing it. Once they're all done, cover them with the oiled cling film and set the timer for 15 minutes. Once the 15 minutes is up, start forming the baguettes. You'll find the dough is much easier to handle after it's been relaxing for a while. Now once again, I'll let you watch how it's done. I'll go slowly through the first couple to give you an idea, but the best and only way to learn is to practice. Once each baguette is formed, lift it over to the couche and lay them out as shown.
Once all the baguettes are on the couche, cover them with a lightweight dry tea towel or dishcloth and let them prove for 30 minutes. When there's only 10 minutes left on the proofing time, preheat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius, that's 446 Fahrenheit or gas mark 8. You'll also need to place a pan of hot water on the bottom shelf of the oven. This will create a steamy atmosphere in the oven which makes the baguettes crispy. One more thing you'll need is a spray bottle of water standing by for a little later. OK, once the 30 minutes are up, carefully transfer the baguettes to a very lightly oiled baking tray or trays. I'm using two trays, three baguettes on each. You'll have to decide what tray you're using depending on what size baguette you're making. Once the baguettes are on the tray, I'll give them a quick squirt with the water and with a very sharp knife or razor blade, score the baguettes as shown. I'm giving these three scores on each one. Right, I'll quickly go through the second lot. and now get them straight into the preheated oven. Once they're in, give the oven a quick squirt with water before closing the door. This will make these baguettes even crispier. Once they're safely in the oven, I'll set the timer for 16 minutes. After about 10 minutes, I'll be swapping mine around, top to bottom and back to front. This is for even cooking. OK, that's the 16 minutes up and mine are done. This is how we like them. But if you prefer yours a bit darker, just give them a little longer. But check them every two minutes. The last thing you want after all this effort is to burn them. And there they are. Six delicious, light, crispy baguettes made at home. The smell in my kitchen is amazing and just listen to how crispy these are. Wonderful. OK, I'll cut one open and have a look on the inside. Now as you can see the crumb or bubbles are not as large as my other French baguette recipe but still perfectly acceptable. I'll add some of my homemade butter and have a little taste test. And just as all my senses were telling me this is a delicious bread and definitely gets a thumbs up for another quicker baguette video recipe. Well thank you again for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in the kitchen and bye for now.